It's black and white. It goes perfect in here. So cheap, you guys. This is huge. Bring the childish, fun, dreamy flair to the room. I don't necessarily have a nursery like theme but I do have like a color scheme so it's very monochromatic I would say like modern takes to it oh that's where my phone is there's not too much boho bohemian I thought I was gonna go like a little bit boho but I'm not so it is just very monochromatic black and white I would say is the number one thing there's also like some wicker accents so some light wood accents I think it's like a stylish little man's room like that's what I think it is it's not very baby but there still are things that is like fun for like a kid you know okay I'll show you guys this because it's one of the first pieces that I bought and I actually showed it in an old video so this was gonna be his ottoman for the glider so we chose this before we even chose our glider and I thought it was gonna be perfect because it's obviously like the black and cream and it's like pretty like it's got like some boho to it but this glider actually came with an ottoman which I knew it was gonna but I thought I still could use that but I actually like the glider that this came or the ottoman that this glider came with a lot better so I'll have to show you guys so here's what it looks like with the one it comes with it looks so sleek and then if I would have went with that poof it just doesn't work with it it's way too low and obviously the one it comes with is just so much better and it just doesn't like it just doesn't go because that's so boho and that's so like just modern and simplistic the ottoman doesn't rock this glider it rocks it glides it swivels it's perfect it's like very smooth too and um the ottoman doesn't so it's really nice like when you're sitting in it to like have something that's like um what i'm wearing two different socks something that's like stationary is really nice i'm gonna come down because the guys don't really want to be seeing all that shot but the like armrest is like a really good like height for an armrest and when I was looking at um, gliders it took me forever to find the one I wanted to end up going with and my friend actually told me about this. I got it on Amazon so the reviews on Amazon were like incredible. I just think I'm going to be in it like a lot. So you want something that's comfortable for the parents as well as the baby and I think armrests are something huge. When I was looking at reviews a lot of people were saying that um, armrests on like the other kinds weren't like the right height for it and this armrest definitely is like a great height to be holding a baby which is what you want and then um, it did come with this pillow which looks so cute on it and it's like once again just very like minimal I love that look too and I actually was like going back and forth I'm like holy crap I don't know what pillow to use because that looks so freaking good but I had already bought this. I got this at um, TJ Maxx, so I can't really, I'll have to find the brand and like, I'll try to search it online. I'm gonna have everything, every single piece I talk about linked down below. Um, so just click on that link and you can shop it. It says I love us and I just think that's like so sweet and beautiful for a nursery. And I think it does look really good there too. It just gives it a little bit of a flair and a vibe instead of the sophisticatedness, which I still love this. I am going to keep this still because I feel like I could use it for something else or maybe even just something for him. Like, I don't know. I think I could use it. Okay, I just had to switch cameras because that camera battery freaking died. I thought it was full and it wasn't, so I had to switch <sighs> cameras. I'm literally out of breath. Okay, so we talked about the ottoman situation, and then we went into the glider. This glider is gorgeous. I think you can tell that. The pillow we got. Okay, so this thing is so cute, and once again, I got this at TJ Maxx. I literally love TJ Maxx and Amazon are definitely tied. I think I love Amazon more than TJ Maxx, actually. I should say home goods, because... I go into TJ Maxx just for the home section. This was only $12.99. It is double-sided, so like there's the black or the cream. And what I'm gonna do is his crib. Grant's actually building it. He'll build it to safety code. He knows what he's doing with building things. But he's gonna build his crib and it's gonna be um, pretty much all black and just at the very bottom, it's gonna have some white. It'll be a very streamlined 
clean lines very sleek and minimalistic and like modern and so i just want this to like hang over his crib like on the edge i think that would just look so cute and just give it a cute touch obviously whenever i'm laying him in there i wouldn't have it in there or a chance for him to even pull it down because i'm not gonna let him suffocate um it's just more so for the styling of the room and i just love it so much i think it's so sweet obviously we'll use it too i talk like so much and so fast i'm so and the animals just give it a nice fun that's what I liked a lot about it the animals give it like a really nice fun spunky like child feel to the room so I bought this because I was gonna like drape it over the um it looks horrible so it may, yeah okay I was gonna drape this over the um glider but I'm actually gonna end up putting it in our living room because we just got a new couch and we're gonna like redesign our living room So this is just a really basic thing I got a set of six and they're just very basic like those cube squares You can get them at Walmart whatever. I got mine at Amazon because Amazon is life But I'm actually gonna style them this way So you don't see that like little pole because I think seeing that pole just makes it look like very typical and boring so I have them like laid out all to this side and then I'm gonna put like a black like I'm gonna make a black little tassel so on all of them they'll have like a black palm or like a black little tassel or something so it'll be very black and white and just like a little style and give it a little flare and then that way all his storage is like hidden in here and it was just a very cheap way to do it because you know these are cheap if you don't already have them around your house and then adding on the little palm just gives it a little like stylish touch this is a piece that my parents got me actually and i love it it's just his little like mobile or whatever um and i wanted a cloud one so i love it so much so thank you so much mom and dad i love it and weston's gonna love it too i am gonna take off the stars and the moon just because i don't want any gray i'm so freaking weird i don't want any gray in his room at all and I'm gonna put on black ones and then to hang it from the ceiling I think I might do Ooh, I need to where is that aha I found it okay so this is something else that I got at Hobby Lobby so if you have a Hobby Lobby store they definitely still have it in stock because I got it kind of a while ago but I've still seen it and I think I'm gonna hang this on the wall probably right below his bookshelf that I'll show you next but also something that would be a good idea is to have this like wooden little wooden little things be what hangs the mobile like from the ceiling to the crib and then against our black wall it'll look so freaking good so i think i'm going to do something along those lines to hang this so this my parents gave me and i love it so much it's going to be such a nice piece and once again bring the childish fun dreamy flare to the room they're really really cheap like $12.99 so I'm definitely linking these down below and when I got pregnant I knew I wanted these exact pieces in the room boy or girl like no matter what actually a lot of this stuff wouldn't have mattered if it was a boy or a girl I definitely could do like the not knowing the gender because I like onesies to be gender neutral like I just like like neutrals literally own my heart and um I wanted it to be black and white no matter what so I totally like with with decor stuff and clothes I could totally not know the gender but I want to know my baby's gender so anyways we have two of these things they're just acrylic little like bookshelves and they're very small but that's exactly what I wanted because just the wall I'm going to hang them on is going to be like right here it honestly will only fit like two or something and if I want to put like some in front but I'm okay with that. I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but if you don't know me in home decor, which you don't know much about me in home decor because I haven't made many videos on it, but I'm gonna, is I'm like a very OCD. My friend Shelby is going to laugh because she so knows I'm so OCD about colors in my house. So this book, for instance, just can't even go up on here. I love it. It's beautiful. Grant's parents actually got us, us this for Wesson. And it just kind of made me tear up because it is like a really beautiful book. It says love you forever. I'm going to love reading it to him, but it's blue, so it has to be concealed. So I need to find four baby books that are neutral colors, and those covers can then be on display. I know it sounds ridiculous. It's really not like for like actual use. It is more so for um, looks. It's going to look so stylish and sleek and minimal and perfect 
um but yeah blue books just can't be on there even like in my bathroom my soap i have an acrylic soap dispenser and the soap has to be white so i can't have any good like bath and body smell good scents because i'm too obsessive over everything like being a certain color scheme so i have this little guy and this little guy and these will just be like decor there it is barking I'm trying to show this mirror without blinding you guys, but it's just like a typical round um, mirror and with a really thin frame. I definitely visualized this for a very long time. Once again, if we were going to have a boy or a girl, this was the mirror that we were going to get. I got it on Amazon and it's a 19 inch mirror. So it is like a little bit small, but for our room, um, it's what we need because his nursery is a very small room. So if you have a bigger room and you want a mirror that's a little bit substantial, I would get maybe like a 21 inch or something like a tiny bit bigger. Um, this is a 19 and it is, it's like a, it's a good size for his room, but I could see it being small for someone else's wall space. So that's something to keep in mind. I will link that. That was from Amazon and it was really freaking cheap. It was this little basket that I got from TJ Maxx. I'll try to find a dupe for it online. What I love is that it's so skinny because I'm going to set it next, like on top next to his changing table and I think it's like the perfect like skinny basket and I'm just gonna put in his um like a few diapers in here so they're just like on the go maybe some diaper cream and stuff so it's hidden concealed looks cute this throws in the pop of um the wicker that I was talking about to show some of like the little wood touches that I'm gonna bring in here are these two little knickknacks they're also gonna be um changing table decor our changing table is like an open shelf changing table, so I still am on the lookout for the perfect baskets for them. I have a few options, some one from Wayfair and then a few from Amazon, so I'll put them up on the screen. I definitely want something that's like either like all white, like cotton all white, or white and wicker design, and then also like a little poof or like fringe or something would be like really sweet in a nursery, I think. But my main problem with finding the perfect baskets is a lot of the times baskets come in like a set of like a big size and a small size and like they fit the basket like inside each other and I hate that. Why would you want a big basket sitting next to a little basket? Like that looks, it doesn't look good in my mind. So I need two of the identical baskets that are the same size sitting next to each other and then I can live. What ones did you guys like the best? Please comment down below to help me out with that a little bit. This is from um, Hobby Lot, no. Not Hobby Lobby. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. This is just like some storage pieces. I have two of these in my cleaning closet, so I will show you them. I love them so much. I knew that I wanted to incorporate these in the nursery. I love just the wood top on top of there. Oh, these were this is from Big Lots. So if you have a Big Lots around, it's such a weird find. I heart like I literally never go in there. I've seen some moms have um, cotton balls on their changing table and that's what i have in my cleaning closet is cotton balls in this but for a changing table i'm kind of confused why you need cotton balls so moms let me know but i think like binkies in one for sure and the other one i don't really know what i could put in there but i'm gonna find something and then next are these hangers i got these hangers from amazon i will link them and they're just like little velvet baby hangers they look so cute and something about me once again with being so like everything has to like look the same in my house all my hangers are all white i can't have any of a different color and i know my friend um ended up when she was cleaning her house out a little bit ago um she ended up actually going through and buying all white hangers and getting rid of the color ones and just even like she took a picture like before and after even just changing your closet to like all white hangers it really does make it look not so hectic to the eye and just like makes me be able to breathe a little bit i know some people think i'm crazy because i probably am hangers like in my eyes they have to all be the same so that's what it looks like with a little shirt on i'll show you them actually hanging up in the closet and then also i'll show you me putting these on in the closet but these things i bought from amazon and they just say like 2t 4t 24 months whatever for the closet i want it to be organized but also look good to my eye because <laughs> obviously i've organized other closets in my house so his closet is no exception um the clothes that i'm going to hang up in there i'm going to try to do as neutral as possible hanging up 
and then put away in the drawers I'll put away like the Ohio State things and just like colorful things that he's gonna get okay I'm gonna show you guys the closet just a little bit this is Grant's old dresser that we're just gonna use we're gonna paint it white and then take off the, this hardware because obviously that's outdated and then we're gonna put in black like sleek hardware in there and then also this I'm gonna take out just because it's brushed nickel and I'm gonna put on um, black sleek hardware so three months and then here this thing is so cute it's an adidas little like sweat set it's a big boy size it's nine months so I can't wait to have him in that it's gonna be literally so cute oh my gosh so, I'll go ahead and find the nine month. I think these things are so perfect. And there are some online that are a little like cuter and maybe might go with your theme. But this is just black and white and perfect. So, for me, the boring kind is what I want because I'm boring. Wait a second, this is stupid. There's no newborn. Bill, these suck. Don't buy them. I'm kidding. No, they still are cute, but there's no, like, newborn. I guess maybe it's because they're hardly in newborn. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, like, a black little tassel down the center of each of them. And I think it'll just look really nice. And then I'm going to try to get enough neutral, hopefully, that um, these are, like, mainly all the neutral colors. So, like, this blue one I would take out. I think, like, uh, green is a neutral for a boy for some reason. So... Um, maybe some forest green I'll let slide up there and I definitely want a lot of tans and I have like no tan for him I really do just love neutral clothes um, Okay, so in here I have this beautiful frame it does have Silver which I actually I just opened it up from a long time ago when I bought it I actually didn't even think about that. I wonder if that's gonna freak me out too much Okay, um, I'll have to think if I'm going to end up using this or not. I know that's crazy, but if it was like in a bl thin black frame, that looks so cute. And I wanted to put an ultrasound of him in here and set it on a little table. But with our nursery being so small, I didn't even know if a little table was going to fit. But now that this is in here, just a very little one will fit like right here. And I'm so annoyed because when I was at TJ Maxx, there was like a live edge, like live wood edge type, like really small um, side table and I took a picture of it and I was gonna ask Grant if we should go ahead and get it and I'm so annoyed because I should have got it and I'm never gonna find a piece like that again but I think like something like with a little wooden accent here would be nice and I want something there because when I'm breastfeeding at night and stuff just to set my phone on or to set his sound machine on right now we have nowhere to set his sound machine on oh my gosh I need to show you this this is a big piece and it's literally gorgeous okay so this I found at Hobby Lobby it was so cheap, you guys. This is huge. I think it's huge. And I always thought big wall art is, like, so expensive. And I was going back and forth so much on what to put over his crib. And I had no idea. And I, like, normally have, like, a vision. And I buy pieces around my vision in my mind. But over the bed, I had no idea. Because I didn't want to do his name. I think names are just overdone. And so I just really didn't want to do that. And there's no name designs that I actually like. So... This is gorgeous and it looks perfect on his all black wall with this thin wood frame. It's like perfect. Oh my gosh. It literally was like made for his room and it's going to be so sweet above his crib. Oh, and it was at Hobby Lobby. And so it was like originally $50. It was $49.99, but they were having their sale on 50% um, off all wall decor. So it was only $24.99 or something like that. I have this thing here. This is pretty popular and you're starting to see it in a lot more nurseries now. Um, I first saw it in Alexandria Garza's nursery and I got this at Target and I'm not, I don't find a lot of home decor pieces at Target honestly. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. I might put like some books, toys, books or something in here. And I just have that next to like a little play corner I was going to set up for him. Pandas are my favorite animal. Now they're German Shepherds, but second to that is a panda. I've been saving it to put in our baby's nursery. So it's black and white. It goes perfect in here. Wish Reese. Follow or er, subscribe. But yes, please subscribe and follow along my journey. Thank you so much for watching.
need to breathe. Ooh, Sam. Oh, this sweater is actually so hot right now. 